Okay, so we're going to uh, perform a normal takeoff now in the LX-7-20. Gonna verify our bleed air is on. Our cabin pressure is set to our fuel elevation. We're here at uh, Redmond Municipal Airport in Redmond, Oregon. About 3,080 feet, so we've got 3,100 selected here. Our flaps are set to the takeoff position. Our trims are set. Pitch trim, basically even with the flap indicator. A little bit of right rudder trim. Uh, igniters are on. And we'll go ahead and call for a clearance here. We're going to take off to the north and head up uh, towards Madras, Oregon, just to show the initial takeoff, uh, the climb, and uh, some landing performance of the airplane. Uh, so the airplane's all ready to go. Let's go ahead and get our clearance here. Rebel Tower, Lance Air 4, Yankee Bravo is holding short runway 11 north departure. Lance Air 4, Yankee Bravo, Rebel Tower, Roger, landing traffic. Lance Air 4, Yankee Bravo, runway 11, clear for takeoff, he said northbound. Sequence and with a left turn. Northbound for Yankee Bravo, clear for takeoff, 11. 5 for Supercruiser 3438, Mike, Rebel Tower, number 2 for departure. All right, Mike, understand number 2 for departure. Yeah, we'll go ahead and pre-select uh, 10,500. We may not go all the way up there. In this little short hop, final is clear. One last check of our trim. Flap position is good. Okay, power lever coming forward. Yeah, we'll just bring in our power slowly. There's 300 foot-pounds of torque, and then I'll just advance the power lever slowly here about 950 foot-pounds of torque. Accelerating nicely, there's our rotation speed. Up we go, positive rate of climb. Line of gear coming up. Left turn, your discretion. Mike, clear for takeoff, 1-1, left turn, my discretion, thank you much. Gears up. Mike, so you now. Flaps are up. And again, we're just watching our ITT limits here and our torque limits. In the left turn, 4 Yankee Bravo. And I was in Lancer, 4 Yankee Bravo. Keep it kind of tight for me. Traffic inbound from Powell Butte is a Cessna. Okay, we'll do, uh, we'll continue our turn to a uh, northwesterly heading for 4 Yankee Bravo. Supercruiser 3 and Mike, the Lancer ahead of you is in a uh, left turnout also. Uh, I'm inside, I'm turning left right now. Roger. Okay, so that's a pretty normal takeoff. Got our RPM limits, everything looks happy here. Yeah, you can see our climb rate, 2,000 feet a minute. We can actually pitch up a little bit higher. Rate of climb, there's our 2,500 feet a minute. Twenty six hundred feet a minute. So I typically climb about this pitch attitude here. Northbound is a Piper Super Cruiser. Yeah, we're safe altitude now. Igniters are off. We're looking for the traffic assigned to six zero Mike. And yeah, we'll go ahead and make a couple of turns so just we can see how the airplane's very responsive. And we see our... Pressurization is, is coming alive here. Keeping the cabin pressurized for us. I'll be looking, I'm at uh, 500 AGL and I'm not going to go up. Three, Mike. Uh, turn left here, get a good view out to the west of beautiful central Oregon here in the fall. Let's add a little more power here. So the airplane is very responsive, handles very easily. Not, uh, It's not a big deal to fly this airplane around. As we do speed up and slow down, we do have some rudder trim changes. So we make that rudder trim, trim change here with the rudder trim switch on the top of the stick.
air conditioner is working. So again, hand flying the airplane, powered back just a little bit, and uh, just stop our climb here. We don't need to go any higher here. Six zero, six point six zero, Mike. We are in the field. Set the six zero, Mike. Runway one one. Got our power back. Runway one one. Can you touch the head? Set the six point six zero, Mike. See the airspeed begin pick up. And the airplane's quite stable, it's quite easy to fly. Report re-established on left base, number two following the set on left midfield downwind full stop. Report re-established. So the autopilot's not on right now. We do have a lot of unique features in the autopilot. We do have the, the level button, which if we were in unusual latitude would restore the aircraft to level flight uh, if we push that button. There's also envelope protection which is built in, that's the ESP. So if we exceed the pitcher bank limits that we've programmed in uh, to the autopilot, it will uh, also warn us and then it will uh, begin to make some changes to the attitude of the aircraft to restore uh, flight within those limits. And we have our, our unique features uh, such as our fuel balancing system which does uh, maintain fuel level between left and right tanks as well and then of course there's a whole host of really great features inside the Garmin avionics uh, so we can see what those those are just loaded up we've got uh, XM weather ADSP compliance all those great things that we want uh, to give us good information inside the cabin while we're flying uh, so I'm going to go ahead and Begin a descent here. Our, our airport that we're landing at is uh, about 12 o'clock and just a few miles ahead there. And we'll show how we can descend uh, quite quickly here. We do have power back. We're not going excessively rapidly, but we can uh, we can actually slow down and go down at this with the turboprop engine. It's quite nice for that. Go ahead and get our AWOS. Playing over COM2 here. Weather, wind, one, eight, zero, at three. Visibility, one, zero. Clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, one, Celsius, two point seven. Altimeter, three, zero, one, niner. Oh, go, three, zero, one, niner on the altimeter. And the little parachute activity Traffic. today. Got traffic being warned of below us, so we'll go ahead and level off. 1,500 feet below, we do have two separate traffic systems in the airplane. This is the active traffic. traffic. And uh, then we have the ADSP traffic as well. Very nice to be warned of those types of uh, hazards while we're flying along. And we can see they're 1,300 feet below us turning to the west. So we'll just level off just slightly here. And then we can continue our descent. They're behind us now. So we're coming out of 8,000 feet. We're descending now 1,000 feet a minute. And you can see we can keep our speed in check with our power and go ahead and reduce power even further here and now we've got 1800 feet a minute descent and our airspeed is beginning to stabilize about 185 knots 184 knots indicated so the airplane can come down out of the sky quickly Madras traffic lines there, Fort Yankee Bravo is five miles to the south, planning left traffic, one six Madras. So we'll go back to our waypoint page and we can see that the airport's at 2,400 feet. So 3,400 feet is going to be our pattern altitude. 
go ahead and set that in here, 3400. And um, the airport's about four miles ahead here. So now we can demonstrate some slow flight characteristics of the airplane. So as we're flying along uh, traffic, jump plane three, triple seven Alpha is, uh, near the airport, we'll go ahead and slow our, let our airspeed slow down. Magic traffic lights, airport Yankee Bravo is four miles east of the airport, uh, currently flying southerly heading, we'll move over for 45 for left downwind. One six matters. So the airplane's quite happy flying slowly here. We've got our approach flaps. Bring our power back even farther. Yeah, we're going to maneuver for a uh, Left traffic for runway one six. Magic traffic, jump lane three, triple seven delta is the left base, three four full stop, Andres. And you can see our speed decaying down here. The airplane is quite maneuverable at this speed. Nice and easy to control with the ailerons. And Madras ground, we still have skydivers in the air. Madras traffic, triple seven Delta, left base, three four, full stop, Madras. All right, and Lancer for Yankee Bravo is maneuvering for left downwind. One six, are all the divers on the ground? Uh, I'm gonna have to let you know when I land. The uh, ground crew hasn't told me. Okay, thanks. Uh, we're on a two mile 45 for left downwind now, one six, Lancer for Yankee Bravo. All right, so we're approaching our 45. We've got our three landing gear. All right, and all skydivers on the ground, Madras. Great, thanks. Madras traffic lights there for Yankee Bravo is uh, turning onto a left downwind, one six. So we're turning downwind, we have our Three green. And the PFD is indicating gear down. Still descending for our pattern altitude. Matters lines there for Yankee Bravo's left midfield downwind, full stop 16 matters. Yeah, Madras traffic, triple seven delta clear, 16 Madras. That's a pretty typical downwind speed for the LX7 20. I'm going to beam our touchdown point. Again, verifying three green, gear is down. Yeah, we'll go ahead and turn base, bring down the rest of our flaps here. Base, three green.
Stabilized on base. November Delta, we're 10 miles to the north on the RNS APS, normally 16, Madras. Yeah, Madras traffic lights are breaking. Bravo is turning final 16, via full stop, Madras. 500. All right, there's our Taz call out. We have our three landing gear down there. And we're turning for final. Traffic does not to for turning left down into Lonnie 2 a prime deal. Okay, short final, three green are down there. Got our green dot showing on our AOA. And there's our landing runway made. Powers to idle. Those coming up. And then we can bring our power lever back to the gate. And we have a nice, easy stop to the first turnoff here in Madras. Okay, igniter's off, landing lights off. Yeah, Madras, for Yankee Bravo's clear, one thing. Clearing the runway, we'll bring our trim back up. And that's a normal landing in an LX7-20.